In this Photoshop tutorial, I will be showing you how to take a photo like this and combine it with a texture image like this one to create a joined texture with photo like this image. So go to Photoshop and open up your original image and also open up your texture. In this case, my texture is on a vertical orientation and I want to switch that. So I'll just do it in here. Just go to image, image rotation, and I'll just choose, I want it to go clockwise. Now you just click on the selection tool, click this and hold this down to drag it up to this other file and drop it. Then just position it so it's centered and you may need to resize it and then just place it like that. Now you'll need to change the blending mode that you use for this. So go over here, make sure that you've got this layer selected and change this. You can do two options look really great. You can change this to multiply to give it a little bit more of an intense look or as I did, you can click soft light. And now you want to get rid of the texture, perhaps in this case over here as face. And the way to do so is to add a blending mask. So go ahead and click on that. Make sure that you had the layer you wanted selected. Then make sure that, so you can go back and forth and, and edit the texture itself, but I want to edit the mask. And as you can see, what, what this mask is white, which means that anywhere with this pattern is um, going to look white in this tool. So if I want to get rid of the um, texture in the picture, I need to add some black. So the way to do that is to select your paintbrush tool, make sure that the color here is set to be black, and then color basically in where you don't want this texture. So I'm going with my paintbrush tool, I want it to be larger. I've also made sure it's not very hard brush and you can kind of see how that works like that. And if you look in the texture here, you can see it's added a black spot. So basically, we're just going to add black on this layer mask to wherever I don't want this texture to overlay. And the cool thing about this is now I can go back in if I um, took the te too much texture off, like for example right here, that edge of that wall, I can always go back in and replace that by just making my brush white. And just kind of doing this all over so her hair is more pronounced, making sure there isn't any over her face. Because I just want the texture to look like it's on the wall. You could do this a little bit more subtly by changing the opacity of this brush to be less than 100% if you wanted there to still be some texture on this spot. All right, now I'll just go in, change this to white, zoom in closer on these edges and reduce the size of my brush. The way I'm doing that is by just clicking the bracket. The left bracket reduces, the right bracket increases the size. So I'll just go in here, bring back in this texture. And now that layer is independent, so you can remove it or add it just by hiding the layer, like so. One other thing you can do is if you want to adjust the opacity, you can do so here with this layer. Or, for example, if you had this set to multiply, then you could reduce the opacity here so it's just a little bit of a different look. So you can play around with textures. There are all kinds of different textures to choose from. I used this texture, but you can see some of the different texture examples I have here that just range in, in look considerably. So you can just do different things with the textures.
basically all that these textures are are just little pictures that I found online that are just heavy on texture and and they're just simply JPEG images that are high res so that they'll fit on the over the size pictures that I'm editing. So here are just a couple quick examples of what other kinds of things you can do with textures. In this version I combined these two to create kind of an embossed look on that concrete wall behind her. In this second photo I combined three I combined one photo and two textures to create um, this texture and the way that I did that is I did the layer mask as I showed you with the writing so it just looks like it's behind her but the other layer I put over the top of her as an overlay and I just reduced the opacity of that layer where it is over her face and her shirt and you can just play around with it.